One of the first, and we're getting a lot of questions from customers and industry, and we're seeing solutions developing, and it's really the, I would say, visibility into OT security. So being able to, you know, what are, I'll kind of break that, that down, what visibility into OT security means. So the foundational is just um, knowing what needs to be secured, right? You know, asset discovery, inventory, um, because right now, you know, I've been in many facilities where we are being asked to help secure OT cyber assets, you know, thing, you know, environmental monitoring, heat trace, DCS, SCADA, uh, et cetera. But first thing we have to do is we have to go find them. And it continues to be a very labor-intensive exercise, uh, either because existing documentation is inaccurate or poor, and so a lot of manual collection or physical inspection is what we have to do. So we start there, and so you know, there's, there's technology that's getting better and better to help uh, improve that and maintain it, but you know, that's still the f some of the foundation. Once we identify what we need to secure with the larger goal of you know, having visibility into OT cybersecurity is actually securing it, right? So w w let's take the example, we've discovered a, um, uh, maybe a electrical relay protection network that was really kind of isolated away at uh, an area of the facility and it's dealing with like uh, high voltage relays and uh, protection, et cetera. But now we need to secure it. So we need to know what software is on it. Um, you know, is there, patches available, could we harden it, are there settings we could remove, you know, and just even knowing um, what is on that device, having that visibility of what could be updated and are we behind or are we up to date. And then lastly, there's the, you know, we think about um, all the different domains that go into cybersecurity, and that's things like authentication and remote access and patching and hardening and monitoring and reporting. Like once you, you know, if we kind of put this all together, when we think about the visibility into OT or, you know, control system cybersecurity, we need to clearly identify what is the scope uh, that needs to be protected, you know, in inventory and collection, then we need to harden it and determine, you know, are we secure? And then lastly, we need to stay on top of that and sustain that security uh, and have that visibility overall. And that's really continues to be a big challenge, even as we move into 2020, because there's just so much variety in control systems infrastructure across all the different industries.